Good morning. I am getting ready to go to South Africa. I'm about to catch a flight instead of feelings. I'm going to South Africa to check on my house um, and to check uh, to see what else I can do while I'm there. But anyway, this is my airport outfit here um because i need it to be wide because i'm going to hide my my purse my little purse under here and then i carry another purse and so that's a no-no uh companies don't want that but um but the end i have to wear these boots here because i don't have space and they're a little bit heavy so i decided to wear them uh, I may have to, I mean, I'll, I'm, what I'll do is I'll take off my, take them off and leave the socks uh, when I'm there. And I'm wearing compression socks because last time my feet were swollen. But last night I had uh, like a salt bath uh, to see if I can help, you know, like make sure that I don't swell as much this time. But anyway, I am... Going to South Africa, and with everything that I've faced so far, um, I'm a little concerned, but I trust that everything will be good, and I and I pray that everything will be good so that I can be reunited with my family um, in December. But yeah. Good morning. I hope you guys are doing well. I am doing well. Guess what? I'm not going to post this video anytime soon, but I'm making it anyway. But I'm actually in Boston, uh, Logan Airport. I'm en route to South Africa and to work on my house and also to assess the damage of the fire. And at this point, um, I said, let me vlog. I forgot to vlog when I was leaving um, our airport in North Carolina, but I'm here now in Logan and I'm trying to see if I can buy a pillow. Uh, if I can buy a pillow for my neck because again, I forgot my neck pillow. And the thing is, this is the hundredth time. Oops. My bags are so heavy. My carry-on bag is so heavy, but <laughs> when I was, when my husband asked me, how are you going to put this in the overhead storage, right? I said, I'm going to ask a guy nicely. And then when time came for me to do it. So sorry. Um, so I said I was going to ask a guy nicely to put it up for me. So when time came, there was a, 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 a stewardess, like a, a... I was so embarrassed to ask. So I said literally in my like inside my head i said how do mamas in africa do it i summoned the strength of my ancestors i was like i'm just gonna lift it up and i lifted it up and i it went in i was like yes that's how you do it so that literally that's how people get strength to do things you psych yourself up and you're able to do it it's so heavy it's like 33 uh, kilograms <laughs> And the allowance is 15 kilograms but i'm trying to get away with it but anyway let me see if i can find this pillow because my arm is actually tired there's not a lot of good shopping here in uh in boston actually because it's such a small airport but oops sorry it's a small airport but it's an international airport so but there's not a lot of shopping and what pisses me off this is the hundredth time I'm buying this thing. I don't know how I forget it, but I do end up forgetting it. This time I saw it in the car. I was like, oh, I should not leave this behind. And I totally forgot it when, I, when it was time for me to go. I think I may have to go back to the place where I was before to find this pillow. I saw others there and I kind of was kind of pissed that they were so uh, 
like flimsy looking. I, if I buy it, I want to buy something that's quality, but I need to remember them next time so that I don't, you know, um, constantly buy them because now we're going to run out of space in our house. <laughs> Literally, this is the third time that I'm going to be buying and I lost another one in Islanan and they refused to give it to me. I even asked them to ship it with the next flight to Johannesburg, but good luck in South Africa getting anything back. I'm not saying this to put South Africa down, but literally the last time we were there, a security guard tried to steal my husband's phone. A security guard. I was like, we had to throw a fit. So I'm not saying this to put South Africa down, but I'm just upset to be honest with you. Now I'm giving you the sights and sound. There's nothing here, literally. Tell me that I'm going to pay this much. Like literally, I can't, I can't do that. $59 for this, come on. I know it's, this is actually better quality than the one that I saw earlier, but I don't think it's that much of a quality for it to justify the price. I actually have never used this just walk out technology by Amazon. Basically, you come in and it automatically scans for your card and uh, then uh, you, it just charges you what you pay for. You enter on one side and you get out on one side. But uh, so I didn't buy that neck pillow. I'm going to see if I can find it somewhere else. There was another place that sold it. And if that one is also just as expensive as the other one, I'll go back to that one. And the reason being that um, the $60 ones, they are actually nice. But if I can pay, let's say, 30 to 40 bucks, uh, then I'll take this one. Even though it's not the best, but at least it's better than the flimsy ones over there. So, yeah. But whoa, I hate I have to do this, but I also hate traveling. I have a 12 hour flight uh, to Doha. I have a 2.5 layover. Here I have four and a half hour layover. And then in Doha, I have 12.5, I mean, I have 2.5 layover. And then, um, and then in Johannesburg, I have 18 hours layover. So I have to get a hotel there Oops, sorry I'm, I'm struggling with my my suitcase is actually struggling I'm, uh, I'm, it's actually struggling sorry I had to pay attention to it it's actually struggling because it's so heavy and I put a bag on top of it let me see if there's something here I don't know what time it is, but I'm in Qatar right now. I'm about to take my flight to Johannesburg. Just landed, landed, running a little bit late. And so I'm gonna find my gate first, then settle, because I don't wanna settle too far from it. And then I have to run basically to it. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Let me give you, I mean, I've, I always pass through this airport, so there's nothing special anymore. And usually, I get a let me let me give you this background. Usually I get a uh, a lounge access because my layover is usually long, but this time it's only two and a half hours, which gives me just enough time to um, to walk around, have some water. Fortunately, my feet are not as swollen, which is good. They were trying, they were starting to swell after the flight, but now they're feeling a little bit better. So yeah. I'm gonna see if I can have this uh, Louis Vuitton store and I'm gonna see if I can have tea at Herod. I've always wanted to have tea. I'm just gonna have tea and nothing else. Just so I can have the experience. I wanted to give you this. So there's the. What kind of an animal is that? I have no idea. Uh, 
I guess his name is Hia or Haya. I don't know. Ten's ten today. So it's a special day to be here. Uh oh. Run away. <laughs> Oops, sorry. A lot of people are taking pictures because this is signature for this hotel. I mean, uh, it's Okay, so let's go to this is probably one of the newest airports in the world I want to see if they will let me in at the inn they didn't let Jesus in at the inn hello good morning do you have a table for one yes we do okay I'll, thank you Okay, I'm staying here at Premier Hotel and it's nice, but can you believe? Hmm, I don't know, it's not good here, <laughs> but I'll be able to soak myself. But what I was gonna say is, um, I missed the sunset because I asked a room with the sunset, and there were rooms with sunset, and this girl gives me a room that's facing the airport. Ah, <sighs> anyway. And then she tries to change it. And then she tries to change it. Hold on, let me wipe my phone. I'm so tired, y'all. Okay, let me sit down. Let me lay down. I don't know what to do. Let me take off my shoes. Look, I was wearing my boots. Hold on, let me show you. I was wearing my boots because they were heavy and I needed a, a way to store them. I store them on my feet. But they're not going to weigh me. But anyway, I've been traveling for 48 hours that actually no that's a lie so i've been traveling uh from the united states i left there at 6 a.m flight to boston then from boston i had a four and a half hour layover and then um to um doha and now Joburg. uh the doha one from boston to doha was about 12 hours and this one was an eight hour flight so it's a long travel and i'm going to sleep here for one night then make my way to the eastern cape i'm flying out early in the morning so i have to set my watches because it'll be i think like 1 a.m in, in in the united states around there or earlier i don't know but it'll be very awkward time so i have to kind of uh, make sure that i am ready to roll out of here uh, i need to be at the airport so my flight is at 8 40. So if I give myself two hours, I have to be there at 6.40. That means that I have to be out of here no later than uh, 6.15. So I have to think hard about that one. 6.15, I would say 6, 6, just to be on the safe side. I'd rather be stuck at the airport than be stuck here. But yeah, and so I asked this lady for a sunset and she gives me this room without the sunset. Here's the funny part. And I mean, I understand these things don't mean much to most people, right? Uh, because she said, but sometimes the sunset comes this way and sometimes the sunset comes that way. And I'm thinking, there's a difference between a sunrise and a sunset. But again, I wasn't trying to be, a, you know, like a mean or anything. I really wanted a sunset and I just, you know, accepted their explanation and I, have had them bring me back here actually they tried to change the room but at the time the sun was going down fast by the time she was done the sun had already been like literally just the glow and then the funny part is the kids she brought couldn't open so uh, anyway i'm here i'm grateful i'm thankful that i got here safe i was a little worried about my health uh, and the stress of travel and you know like what that all means so now I'm going to shower take care of myself relax so that I can be ready for the road ahead because that one is gonna be hard because I'm going to my home for the first time since there's been fire and I had to make an emergency travel basically and go to South Africa because of the fire in my house and um, 
and I'll be working here while I'm here. I'll be working full time. So, but I'll do other things that I can that, you know, like I had planned to do anyway. Um, and when I travel, by the way, guys, I don't care how I look. Okay. Nobody knows me. Um, and again, I'm not hung up on my looks. I've never been hung up in my, on my looks from when I was a little kid. So I don't bother too much. Um, and so, but anyway, and maybe my husband is bothered by my looks, but I'll just assume he's not. I mean, I know he's not, but anyway, um, so yeah, like, um, so I have to do all these things, take care of all these things that I need to take care of, make sure that the security in my house is beefed even more and assess the damage, fix what needs to be fixed and do what I'll, I can do. So the last phase, I basically tried my best to just stay focused on what can I achieve. If I'm able to achieve it, I would achieve it. And then, oh, I say I achieved it. And if I was not able to, I would just, you know, let it go. So that's the same approach because that was um, better for me in terms of stress. Um, I need to like try and not stress because stress is very dangerous. Even now I don't feel good. Because I've been traveling for a long time. Flights are hard on the body. We have to figure out a way for us Southern Africans to travel in a faster way. I don't recommend the 18 hour flights, which we have. We need something like maybe something in West Africa where we break things down there. Maybe take seven hours. I think it's eight hours or 10 hour flight, I think to Ghana, which is not short either, right? So it really does make a difference. So maybe the 18 hour flight is what we have to stick with, but uh, it's brutal on your body. Um, but at least you don't have layovers you know, in the middle and you can try what I did this time. I really did my best to make sure that I get up and walk around and stretch and, you know, hydrate a lot, drink a lot of water. Even now, even my lips are dry. That's how uh, much water I, I need to drink. And ooh, look at, the, uh, I don't know about the water. That's interesting. I hope they don't don't kill them. That's interesting. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. But they are cold. Let's see what else do we have here. Maybe this, this, no, this doesn't look, uh, this doesn't even work. Whoa, anyway, but I also understand, but you would expect in a, like, I just don't like the idea of refilled water, okay? Because this is not petrosilled. I just don't understand why South Africans love things that are not petrofilled because tempering with things and really giving people, um, you know, like things that may be contaminated is a huge risk. Uh, especially people who are traveling, so I don't understand why they have. I know it's fancy and all, I guess that's what they use in restaurants. But for what I got sitting here, I don't know if I love that. But anyway, yeah, but the hotel is nice and, and, and looks comfortable, looks pretty. It's prettier than some hotels in North Carolina, but this is kind of a high end hotel. Uh, uh, what did I say, restaurant? I meant hotel. The hotel is nice. Uh, the only other thing is the light does not come on here. I don't know. Um, but anyway, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Again, I'm here for one night. But yeah, let me get the charging. Let me get started with the charging. Charge everything. Good morning. I am in Johannesburg right now at the airport at Magenbeen. It's kind of customary to be at Magenbeen. They don't come to South Africa and, don't, and, and do not go to Magenbeen. So I'm having my first cup of coffee from Magenbeen since I've arrived. So I slept in Johannesburg in the hotel. 
and um, now I'm getting ready to board my flight to East London. There's my Americano. I hope you guys can see me. I'm on my way to the village right now and I'm stopping in the stop and go and um, I just picked up a car and did my groceries. You can see the back is full. And I did my groceries and now I'm making my way to the village. I don't know what to expect there but my job is to keep my nose down and clean and focus on what I'm there for. And I will not allow anyone to distract me from that. I swear. You guys are familiar with this road. Um, so I'm looking at all the fair destruction. My hope was that I was going to do a drone footage as I was arriving. But there's just no time for that. And I'm just more anxious about getting home. And uh, assessing, you know, like what happened. But you can see from the distance there that the hills over there are burnt. Okay. Which again, it's normal. Um, it's part of how they've always managed things which is fine but fire has never been allowed to go into people's houses and again in my scenario um, the fire did not start at the bottom you can see I hope you can see my house let me see if I can pull up here so you can see my house you see there's my house okay you see where there's green that's where the fire was and some parts there in the front but on the other side the brown spot there that means that there was no fire okay that's what i wanted you to see okay so this is the first time that i'm seeing this fortunately there's not a huge uh, damage especially on the poles and i'm so grateful for that um i'm so grateful for that uh, and the rain, uh, the rain, the landuga, what do you call that? Um, um, so I told Emily, I didn't tell them that I was coming. I just had my sister call them now to let them know that we were coming. And so, yeah, some part, some uh, poles did get damaged, but that's fine. We'll fix that. Clearly somebody was trying to cause a lot of harm in my home. <laughs> Let's partake. Okay, so the house is dark as you can see because Emisha lied and said we had electricity. So we have the fireplace on. It would have been nice if we had electricity. I would sleep here. And the guy who was supposed to freaking fix the issue of the owls lied. Everybody lies. I should have known. I should have went and checked it. But it's dark now, waiting for someone to bring petrol okay so right now i literally am uh let me let me take you to the family room so apparently we don't know if we have electricity or not here and i asked emily repeatedly go check and see if we have electricity no we have it Marcus, and now she doesn't know clearly my house was in the dark here and we don't know if there's damage to the electricity or we don't have electricity and these are the things that i could have taken care of before i arrived here but anyway uh, I do hear a little banging noise up there and so I have to find out where that noise is. It's very windy outside by the way. I, I noticed that if I, uh, if I point my light against the wall, at least you can see me, okay? But there's, there's something that's banging that I need to listen to. Again, I want to make sure that I take care of these problems immediately because I, I honestly don't understand all of this. So fortunately, I can turn on the generator in this main house and I can also turn on the generator in the guest house. So for tonight, we'll just turn on the generator in the guest house and tomorrow morning, I'm going to have to have someone to come and check and see if we have electricity here if it's an electrical fault or it's not having electricity fault okay uh but uh it's i just arrived had a 40, 48 hour trip basically and then another two and a half hour drive to the village and um 
today it's sunday and i'm going to have to uh take a day off tomorrow so i can focus and make sure that everything is set up i want to sleep in the house because the the guest house is fine and it's solid and everything but the main house there's a lot of issues that i saw that i didn't expect because i tried and pushed and pushed to have everything fixed last time i was here especially things that have to do with you know like um uh that have to do with making sure that the house is sealed. And again, guys, people think sometimes I'm mean, but I hate when people abuse abuses me. I hate it. Because this guy said he fixes the things. I paid it, I, I bought things specifically for him to fix it and he didn't fix it. And he lied to me. And now we have a problem here. Fortunately, the, uh, the, the fireplace thing, let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so we are just waiting for this fire to be over, to be honest with you, before we go to, uh, we go to bed. Uh, I mean, go to the other house, to the guest house. Uh, but if we didn't lock this thing here, this sliver here, okay? If we didn't lock it, when we opened it, a lot of owl poop, I mean, not poop, but buff, you know, like came down. And so I said, let's put up the fire that way if there are owls that are trying to sit here, they cannot sit here because they're gonna smell the, the fire. But I mean, again, I specifically asked the guy, I pushed the guy, I pushed, I said, do it, do it. And he was reluctant of doing it. And he did something on the, on the, on the stove, um, what you call that, on the stove uh, chimney, but there's something also that fell, sorry, the one. Let me go close that door. Hold on. Who's happy to see me? Hi, Rogi. Come. <laughs> Look who's happy to see me. He's checking out the house. Are you checking out the house? Say I'm looking for food, woman. I'm going to TV again. Rocky poo poo. Rogi. Sit. Shala. Shala. Rogi. Shala. Hi. Hi. <laughs> He's excited. Anyway, the house has a lot of spider cobwebs. And that fell, don't know how. These guys are just like, uh, but anyway, I just need to find, see if I can find very long screws there. Look how clean it is. <laughs> I'm eating a pie. This is my second pie in two days because I don't have anything to eat. And I have people working here, so I have to figure out a way to cook for them. Good morning. I'm in the village, and I'm feeding Rocky. Rocky slept in my house and took my alarm last night. I didn't even know he slept here. I, I guess he must have stayed all night without moving. And then this morning, I think when the sun came up, he decided he wanted to go home. Uh, he lives at my sister's house. And I think it was um, during that time that he, uh, oh, there's a husband calling from America. I don't know what time it is, but I'm inside the house and I wanted to show you guys the first meal that I cooked. So I had a salad today and now I'm cooking some South African, authentic South African food, some chicken. Can you see? Some chicken. Anyway, so far so good. I went through my first tri trials and tribulations, and I went through my first trials and tribulations, but all is well. It wasn't as bad as I expected it, and I think that's helped me a lot. It wasn't as bad as I expected it. But um, I think setting my expectations too low helped me, you know, like uh, appreciate everything. But yeah, in the next few days, I'm not going to do much because I just need to relax a bit. And then I'm going to focus on studying, uh, on building the guard house. I already have someone who's offered to be a guard excuse me but i just need to make sure that that's the right decision but anyway yeah that's when I, my security is up right now so that makes me feel much safer the security around the house 
uh, it makes me feel so much safer and rocky tripped the security but that's okay i love rocky i really do i bought him some food and i i'm keeping it here so that when he's here i can have something to feed him okay so i put in the car in the garage for the first time and it's a rental car so it's not my car i think it's still cute even though i don't know how it got to my yard i think you're some sort of a threat i'm kidding it's probably some sort of a berry because uh it is uh it's got thorns on it it'd be interesting to know what this is i, I i'm always interested i know what this is this is a useless piece of plant <laughs> i'm sure it's got its value but but yeah i just want to show you guys At least the garage door was working fine without any issues. So I've put in the car here and it's so nice to be able to park the car in the garage, okay? Just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, let me go switch off the lights. I need to switch off some of the lights inside here. But guess what? These bulbs, they were so expensive that one I had already fused. So I want you guys to see that you see below my yard that there's no fire there. And right there, the fire started on the side there. So how did it come to my house? Nobody knows. okay so again clearly the house is not in a livable state even though i slept here the last time i was here i could live here but i came in it was full of flies and spiders and i think it's because of the ceiling you see this ceiling here it's under a slab and here it's under a roof and i think everything is coming in through there and somehow ends up you know like on the floor dead uh, but i just swept a ton of spiders but i've been vacuuming them because i don't want oh i need to find the door for this at least do those little things but everything is kind of tied up uh on the order of things but i think putting doors won't be a problem my only concern is that there's a pee in there by the way not black bag right there i need to go uh but yeah just can't wait for the house to be done. Uh, but you see, this is what I mean. You see, clearly flies uh, getting in here and get trapped. How they get in, the only place I can think of, uh, one is chimney, which I don't know how I can solve that problem. So I'm just gonna get a chimney specialist and just pay the money, even if it means 20,000, if it keeps my house safer and cleaner. Um, I just have to do that uh, but yeah overall I think the house even though it's dirty it's more of a cleaning thing and I'm not going to bother too much I was just removing the so obvious you know uh, things but this room here looks fed because it's under slab uh, whoever is going to my my sister already called dibs on this room so she's gonna sleep here not the best view actually if the bed was on this side 
uh, so we have a better view maybe that's something we can think about but you can see i had um set up for bed to be on that side maybe the bed can be on this side i don't know we'll see but she's going to have a chair here yeah that's a better view view of the guest house but yeah Okay, so that was the first order of business. So some of a few of my girls had mold because someone came and visited and stayed in the guest house and closed the closet. So but anyway, but I'm not moving. I'm just letting everyone know. The house is in far better condition than I expected. So I'm happy about that. Day three of not showering. Or like day four. Oh my gosh, I understand why my mother never cared how she looked in the village. The, like, I mean, she didn't care. Because literally, I've had to be a plumber, I had to be an electrician, I had to be a, um, yeah, basically. Because I lost electric electricity twice. And I had to call that young man who fixed my electricity to actually uh, walk me through on troubleshooting this electricity because he was he was traveling, and not only that, uh, he was gonna have to send someone, and they travel very far. So I was like, okay, uh, see if you can walk me through. So. The first issue I ran into, I couldn't find my screwdriver. I had eight, a set of eight, four flats and, uh, and four screw, uh, I mean, um, yeah, screw and, uh, or star, sorry, yeah, star. And guess what? I have only two. Okay. One, one. I don't know what happened to the rest. Ugh. Anyway, we know what happened to the rest, but that's another topic. But anyway, so I'm so grateful that I have electricity right now. Let me show. So I do have electricity in the house. Okay. The house is a mess because I have everything right here. Again, I feel like it's like deja vu, so to speak. Uh, because I didn't think this time I was going to have this kind of mess. I'm still in the guest house because I still don't have doors in the main house. I probably could stay in the main house, but my security uh, is in this house. And also, uh, I have a yard, a yard security, and this house also has security. So if I want, you know, like more security, I'll have to put security in the main house. But I'm trying to think. So, but yeah. Overall, I've been trying to just relax and not do much, just working with my job uh, and finalizing things with cabinets. I don't know what I'm going to do with these cabinets, but I'm finalizing things and they might not get here until December or even next year. So I don't know. I'm so disappointed, but I'm pushing. I'm pushing and I'm trying not to be stressed because I'm all by myself here. So I don't want to be in a position where I feel sick, uh, even though I was thoroughly prepared 
um you know blah 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 blah, blah. anyway um uh, i have to find my bonnet actually uh because i have to put on this hat mainly because it was cold it's so cold at night here um that like even holding your your phone outside of the blankets feels so cold but anyway i feel happy overall and um i did fly the drone the other day just to assess the area and it was interesting it was interesting again still just my house got bent basically I have to say as upset I, as I was when I found out that there was fire in my yard you can see that all those black things that's fire and grass has already grown but it did help keep the uh, it did help keep the grass to a minimum but I think this is one of my uh, plants that got charred but hopefully it will survive maybe the root system is still intact uh, and yeah i had a lot of uh, a lot of flowers actually that are a little bit fragile here there's another one and clearly they were charred again i'm hoping that they will come back with the rainy season coming up um, here actually is going to be sort of like a lawn space mostly and i'm have to figure out how i'm going to do this whole thing this is gonna be a lawn space the ones that survived over there where there's no fire you see let me see if i can zoom in you see those little there's one dancing right here let's see if i can point to it right there uh, all those survived and yeah and somewhere here we planted uh, the protea and hopefully it will survive I didn't know that it likes dry uh, I think we planted it somewhere here can't recall where exactly but hopefully it will show its face <laughs> sometime uh it's somewhere here and anyway i'm not gonna be doing any work here for a little while but hopefully this got rid of the snakes and everything because sometimes we do get snakes here um it's windy here and when it's windy my eyes just water it's like I never left, right? It's like I'm wearing the same clothes that I wore the last time I was here. <laughs> uh, because they were here. I left them here. So it's still cold here at this time of the year. But yeah, I'm actually, I was going out of the house because I've been cooked in there all day. And I was going out to put away some stuff. Um, cleaning up so I don't put stuff here that may affect eyes yeah it's so good to be in my house it really feels good and really does feel good look at those things disturbing the peace they see themselves in the living room I need to fix that village sounds but anyway i'm i was gonna go watch the sunset from the main house since we've got uh upstairs uh it looks like the sun just disappeared hopefully it stays up a little um uh, but i wanted to watch the sunset and Today was actually a very beautiful day. Let her look. I forgot to put on my sweater. I even opened the folding door. Uh, oh, I need to get. I need to get some stuff done. It's week one, so I was kind of taking things easy, and 
basically not letting anything uh, not letting anything mess with me okay this the door wow this door you need to lift it up in order to open as a result i don't even know what to do hold on i'm inside now hold on look that fell so i need to find very long screws for here uh because that thing fell here i don't know how but anyway okay so i'm going to get a chair and take it upstairs so i can always have it probably should take these ones yeah uh, but anyway there's so much work to do i don't even know where to begin i'll try to locate some stuff here before i go out and buy stuff okay i'm trying to locate but i cannot find any of the tips that i bought um can wait for the house i think it's gonna look absolutely beautiful but let me show you sorry look at my mom's curtain <laughs> oh sentimental i'm gonna figure out how to use it i want to figure out how to use these things but more importantly you see how i have so basically it's all by the way these are my mom's drawers that i want to reuse because guess what this is what the tail means they used to make it here they don't make it anymore and some some stuff that i bought brought the last time i was here like some uh, but anyway i wanted to talk about that plug i need to move that plug because i'm going to have a pantry here that is definitely going to cover it so i need to move it a bit to the side and then that one is fine that one is fine but i think i would need i need a plug here because oh i'm so like i don't want to um what would be nice is if they were to have it go here even if it's not uh what's the word i'm looking for even if it's it's like uh, exposed you know like a pipe cubing yeah but i need one here because this is where my freezer is going to go um and here i don't need to change a damn thing oh i'm going to miss that sunset let me go look it's still up but whoa it is got it's got clouds um but yeah i put up all this uh so that one is fine and i have one there i don't need it here and i should have had one there actually i should have had a plug there but i mean i really don't need this is a laundry at least i have it there you know for when i want to clean and all that but yeah okay so that is the sunset there's a little bit of cloud uh, over it but it's actually nice guess where i'm viewing it from from my reading nook so that's going to be my view for the sunset pretty much. And and I can have, I can sit over there too. That would also be fine. But I'm really trying to imagine. You can see the sun in my face. I'm trying to imagine how far I need to get out of the space. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, so that is my reading nook right here. And it's deep enough. I think it's about 100 or at least at minimum, maybe 110. So now I'm trying to decide whether I want it to come out here. So that, but the thing is I'm not going to have back here. So I think I'm just going to keep it there. And, <laughs> but it would be so nice. And I can put a small table right here. Let me show you. I can put a small table right here next to me so that i can have a sip of wine while i'm watching sunset away from the flies anyway <laughs> oh i'm so tired guys i'm trying to find all the stuff that i bought maybe i left it in the main in the guest house i don't know but it's been a week almost this is friday and i arrived here sunday so just five days since i've been here and whoa that's all I have to say. Good morning, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to make myself some coffee right now.
But thank you so much for watching and hold on. I will be bringing you guys I want to give you guys full rubs, okay? So I'll wait until there's something tangible to share with you. Um, but right now the focus is going to be uh, building uh, the little house that I'm going to be building here. And I went to Mtata, my friend's home, and um, to see she's going to build a house very similar to this guest house. And so I went to see her lot. She has such a beautiful lot with mountain views um, and uh, river. I mean, she has like a mountain view and a, and a, a forest view. And then there's uh, a little bit of a valley below. And then uh, the other villages are across. And so I was like so happy that, you know, I got to go to her house and I'm looking forward to everything. So yeah, I'll share with you guys the progress. And I will post this. Uh, when I post this, it'll probably be <laughs> a month or so after I've arrived here. So, but yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe and share. Sharing is caring. Okay, bye guys.